once again, everyone, and welcome to the Sanctuary. I'm your host, Kruznik X. Once again, we're playing Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn, as a little bit of a trip down memory lane. Just to recap the rules, because we have had a recent change in said rules. So, first and foremost, I will be running each expansion as Meteor's job only. So, as we play through A Realm Reborn, I will be playing as Marauder up until level 30, up until the quests get past level 30, and then I will do, then I will run as Marauder. Um, all of my instances, with the exception of Alliance Raids, special, uh, special side dungeons, and normal raids will be done through duty support only. I will be only wearing quest level appropriate gear. And I will be using scavenge or tombstone accessories only. This is just to make it as fair as I can. With the videos that I am running with. So. Now that the rules are out of the way. I just need to find my videos. Um, there they are. This should be down here, actually. There we go. All right, let's switch to the side by side and open up our video for today, for this episode. Um, episode eight, Scions of the Seventh Dawn. And this is another one where I totally forgot to start the episode. <clears throat> or start the stream before I started the episode. Uh, so we're going to log in. Now, where we left off in this is we had just learned, heard about the Scions of the Seventh Dawn from Thancred or Yestola or, or Papalimo and Ida, depending on where you started off in the quest line um, or where you started off in the game. So, we're going to start our new game plus, resume our chapter. And here we go. So, you want to know more then, do you? Well, ain't that a surprise? I swear, if I painted certain death on one door and limitless wealth on the uh, on another, nine out of ten adventurers would go through the first, and the other bloke wouldn't be able to choose on account of being all on. <laughs> I love that. I'm sorry. I love that line. <laughs> I just love that line from Momody. It's like, if I, if I put certain death on one door and untold riches on the other, uh, Where's my... Oh, I don't have my lines. For some reason. Anyway, don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, there it is. Certain death and limitless wealth on a... First of all... If you're wondering whether you can trust these scions of the Seventh Dawn, you can. The good people have made it their mission to solve some of Eorzea's most pressing problems. Of course, that ain't no small task, and so they're always looking for dependable individuals to join them. Individuals like you, Chris. Now, I've been given leave to tell you where to find the Scions, but you must promise to keep this information to yourself. As you can probably imagine, it's something Eorzea's enemies would very much like to know. The Scions are headquartered in Vesper Bay, out in Western Thanland. The place you're looking for is called the Wakened Sands. Give your name to whoever's at the entrance and you'll be let in. You're a man in demand, Chris. And the days ahead promise to be busy. But I hope you won't forget your, your old friend Momody. Drop in and tell me how you're faring from time to time, you hear? Right, well, I've said my piece. Off you go. All right, so now that we've got that out of the way, we can head over 
to Western Thanland. Now, for the most part, we're running this um, only because of the fact that in the early game, you're not able to get a mount just yet, even though I have my mounts unlocked. So, so far, we're pretty much, uh, so, oh, I meant to mention that in this episode, I think I, yeah, I started working on trying to do this on my old Alienware. Oh boy, that was a cluster fudge and a half. All right, now we can pop into our and fast forward a little bit. I remember messing up on this one only because I did not remember to. Okay, here we go. Let's talk to Tataru. Deep in the desert of my heart. A lonely flower blooms Yearning for the heavens above To quench my thirst for you -la 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 -la. Ah! <coughs> I would thank you not to sneak up on me like that Now please be advised that this is private property Unless you have pertinent business here, I must ask you to... You're here at the behest of Thancred? My sincerest apologies. May I please have your name? Chris Valentine. Chris Valentine. Ah, here you are. Ahem. <clears throat> I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands, headquarters of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. My name is Tataru, and I look forward to assisting you during your time with us. The antecedent is within the Solar. I shall let her know to expect you. All right, continuing downwards. And here we are. Before we continue, I do want to check around here. There's R involved. There's Auli. Abatia. Okay, cool. Uh, there's no one else around here, so. Two li cute little Lalafell guards. It's adorable. All right, let's speak with the Scion. I take you your Chris Valentine. Tataru sent word that you had arrived. Lady Benfilia has... Lady Benfilia has eagerly awaited your coming. This way, if you please.
Now, I think we also get some, uh... So you're the adventurer of whom I've heard so much. I think we also get some Aetherite tokens, well met, friend. but... My name is Minfilia, I'll check. And I lead the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I have awaited your coming. Alright, pause for a minute before we continue this. Um... I do want to mention, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I should have, uh, mentioned this earlier. There is, uh, oh yeah, you do get some Vesper Bay Etherite tickets if you're doing this for the first time. That is different from what we used to get, um, but... Minfilia will, if you're a Legacy player, Minfilia will mention that she remembers and welcome you back with open arms or like welcome you home. But anyway. Please be at ease. You are among friends here. Uh huh. No doubt you are ripe to burst with questions, but have patience. All will be revealed in time. Uh-huh. First, let me begin by telling you who we are and what we do. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, an order that transcends political boundaries. Our single objective is the preservation of the future of Eosia. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. Their existence is a bane upon Eorzea, nay, the world at large, and we have striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. Our order is home to a number of individuals who, like you, possess a rare and special talent. This talent takes various forms, but one holds particular interest for us. Tell me. Have you ever experienced a sudden, inexplicable loss of consciousness? Have you ever had the sensation of being pulled away from reality? Felt as though you were hovering in space, a mind without a body? All these things are the manifestations of your talent. Yours is the power to transcend the boundaries of the soul, a power known as the Echo. The echo allows you to pass through the walls of a man's soul and hear the resonations of his past. You will be there in his memories and see things as he saw them. You may even interact with that which you see, though you cannot change the outcome of events. For another blessing, the echo will enable you to know a man's mind even if you cannot comprehend his words. In short, the echo is a truly extraordinary power. And this power is strong within you. It is only a shame that we cannot use it whensoever we choose. That's right. I, too, possess the Echo. With that established, let us return to the subject of the Primals. So long as they exist, the realm cannot take so much as a single step towards true peace. Measures must be taken. Measures which transcend boundaries, be they of faction, race, language, or creed. And to do so, the Scions require the aid of those with our talent. Make no mistake, the Echo will be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. Without it, we cannot hope to save the realm. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea. But I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Why else would the gods entrust man with a gift so extraordinary, if not to have him use it? And so I implore you, lend us your power. Fine by me. Naturally, your aid will not go unrewarded. 
We are fortunate to have a number of influential allies, and at a word from me, they will gladly afford you certain privileges that might otherwise be denied you. The right to employ retainers, for example. Are you familiar with them? They are individuals who may be relied upon to manage your assets and belongings on your behalf. The papers you requested, my lady. Wow, I lagged a lot back in this old footage. Thank you, Tataru. The pleasure is mine, my lady. By way of a welcoming gift, I have taken the liberty of adding your name to the retainer's registry. As of now, you are entitled to employ the services of a retainer. You will need to consult a retainer vocate regarding the particulars of this arrangement. But believe me when I say that retainers will provide invaluable to you will prove invaluable to you in your adventuring endeavors. Let this gesture serve as evidence of our commitment to do all in our power to facilitate your personal objectives. In return, we ask that you aid us to the fullest extent of your talents. A mutually beneficial relationship, I am sure you will agree. And one which serves the greater good besides. Well, that was a veritable lecture, was it not? Forgive me, but it is important that all concerned are aware of what is expected of them. Now you know our purpose and what we can offer you. I invite you to consider joining us. When you have come to a decision, you may tell me without fear of censure. In good faith, I shall entrust you with our order's password, which our members use to reach each other when afield. It is Wild Rose. Pray, keep it safe. All right, and we unlocked hiring a retainer. I thought I disabled that. Hold on. Uh, active help windows, UI settings, character config. I thought I turned that off. Well, guess I didn't. All right, let us continue onward. We Scions have but one objective, to safeguard the future of Eorzea. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. Long have we striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea, but I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Pray, consider this when you give me your answer, Chris. I will go whither the wild rose blooms. I take it you will help us. Yep. Wonderful. I knew you wouldn't let us down. But come, I would introduce you to your friends in the Order. Tell me, does the name Charlianne ring any bells? It used to be one of Eorzea's six city-states, and was situated in the northwest of Aldenard. The Charlians were the keepers of wisdom both old and new. Their mastery over magic and ether was unsurpassed, and even the Garlians knew to fear them. Among their number, there were a noble few who devoted their lives to safeguarding the future of Eorzea. When the realm began its descent into chaos, and their countrymen fled for the motherland, they alone chose to remain here. These noble men and women were called the Archons. Those same brave souls stand before you now. 
The masked woman is Ida, and beside her is Papa Limo. The two are charged with surveying the Twelve's Wood. Hello there. Welcome. <gasps> okay, my turn to introduce someone. That there is Thancred. He is our man here in Ulda, Jewel of the Desert. Welcome to the team. I never doubted that you'd come. Okay, so e so each one of the three um, groups, or at least it really depend if depending on where you started in the game, you will get additional dialogue from one of the three introductions. So either Papalimo, Anita, Thancred, or Yestola. But anyway. If I may, the lovely maiden beside me is named Yestola. Limsa Lominsa has the pleasure of being under her care. Greetings. Last but not least is Uriange, who presides over all affairs within these halls. Pray seek him out whenever you have questions. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. The words of a dear friend. I am glad of our meeting. I am so glad the he... The Battle of Cartano, our leader, was taken from us. But we did not stray from our purpose. Pause. Um, I am... Rewinding a bit. I am so glad that Orion J progressed out of this look like seriously i used to call him such a shady motherfucker back in a realm reborn and in heaven's ward it was only after Shadowbringers that i freaking it was only after Shadowbringers when he decided to freaking strip that stupid ass hood that i stopped calling him a shady motherfucker But anyway. We sought out Minfilia and others with her talent, and together established the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Along with the Archons, those blessed with the Echo play a pivotal role in our endeavor to forge a brighter tomorrow for the realm. Oh, I should also introduce you to Tataru, our clerk. She ensures that everything runs smoothly. Pleased to make your acquaintance. In time, I hope you will come to think of us as family. But without further ado, I would assign you your first task. Uriange, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived, but recently. We have received a request for aid from the Immortal Flames. Thancred, would you do the honors? It would be my pleasure. Some days ago, a crystal caravan registered to Amagina and Son's mineral concern was waylaid and divested of its cargo. But there is more. Within a bell of the robbery, several people were reported missing from the shanty town outside the city. At a glance, one would assume the involvement of bandits, kidnappers, and coincidence. Such crimes are hardly uncommon, and the immortal flames deal with their like almost every day. However, this time we have reason to believe that a primal is involved. Aye. The evidence left behind implicates the Amolja, who are known worshippers of Ifrit. If we then consider the objects that were taken, there is no room left for doubt. The crimes were committed in the name of a primal. That you may better understand the nature of our struggle with the primals, I would have you play the leading role in this investigation. You have my thanks. If there is aught you wish to know, I recommend you speak with Thancred. 
He is well versed in the affairs of Ulda. Ever at your service, dear fellow. All right. So far, so good. I'm gonna, gonna fast forward and we'll talk to Thancred. Ready to begin, are we? That's the spirit. So then, your mission is to investigate a crystal robbery and a spate of abduction. Crimes which we believe to be connected. Assuming we are correct, it is like that any discoveries we make in relation to one will further our understanding of the other. Now, since the attack on their caravan, our friends at Amagina and Sun's Mineral Concern have doubled security over all their shipments. In light of this, it is my judgment that the abductions should be our priority. According to our preliminary findings, the majority of the missing were last seen in the vicinity of Camp Drybone, so that would seem a fine place to begin. A fellow by the name of Asimbard serves as the camp's de facto leader. Pay him a visit and see that he gives us his full cooperation. All right. Now, if I recall correctly, I don't think... Did I... Was I able to teleport to Camp Drybone? Oh, no, I did so... I did enough to dye my gear. Hi, honey. Hey, love. Wait a minute. Was Are this... You doing... Are you doing a stream? Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. I totally forgot I ended this episode so quickly. And yes, I did teleport to Camp Drybone. Wow, this was a short-ass episode. The fuck? I only did one quest and that was it? Okay, let's talk to Isambard. Hi, I'm Isambard. Yeah, I, ha I have a child who is wired. Ah. Hi, I'm Ethan Bond. Yeah. Here to search for the missing folk, I take it. Minfilia sent I word that an adventurer fitting your description would be along. She also warned us to be wary of the Amalja. Seems we know who the culprits are at the very least. Now, I bear no official title at this camp, but the people here have come to look at to me for leadership. You have my word that I'll do all I can to help see the victims safely return. All right, uh, we're going to take a quick break and we will be back with more. If you're watching on Twitch, stay tuned. If you're watching on YouTube and you like the video, click, click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe by clicking here and click the bell icon for notifications. Click here to watch more. Click here to watch the full trip down memory lane and click here to watch the next video when it comes out. See you in a bit.